So let us just start by installing beautiful soup. If you are using Pan uh, Anaconda package like I am using here, you do not need to install it. It comes with Anaconda package. But if you aren't, you are going to use pip. So the pip command is pip pip3 for pip python3. If you are using pip, then it will be like for python2. So pip3 install bs4. So bs4 and as I told you, I'm using Anaconda, it already exists, so it didn't install any other thing. If we, you, we have not even installed pip, so the link to how to install pip will be below in the description box. So the first thing that we will need to import will be a library to open the URL for us. So we're gonna use uh, URL lib, so import URL lib dot request yes and the next thing of course is to import beautiful soup so from bs4 that's the package name we are going to import beautiful soup sorry as bs the next thing of course is to specify a url which we are going to open so right as of now let us just try with google so google would be https W dot sorry for that w dot google dot com and not to open the URL and we're gonna save that to uh, a variable so to open a URL we're going to type is URL lib dot request dot URL open and of course the parameter to it the URL which you want to open so in this case that's URL and then now what we'll be doing we're going to read through x and we're going to save it inside a variable let's call that variable html underscore page and as i said we'll read through it so there's a function x dot read next thing we'll create a beautiful soup object to do that we'll say soup equals bs as we have called beautiful soup as bs and we need to specify two things first the html page and the second would be a parser so beautiful soup is more of a parser that parses our html files and through which you can you know web scrape uh, your data so we're going to specify html parser so html dot parser and now we're going to print this soup object so print soup let us just try to run this and uh, when you run it, you should know that it depends on your internet connection because that URL will take time to open. So right now it's here. As you can see, it's not that readable. So there's something called prettyfy. And we're going to run this again. And you're going to see it's come, it will be a lot more well structured. So we're, here it is. As you can see, now you can read it, although it's very hard for you to understand it. So what if you wanted to, to get the title? So for that, you want to say print soup dot title sorry not get item sorry for that dot uh title i was waiting for it to recommend it didn't a string so let us run that so as you say it returned google and that is the string in the title so we will be scraping our data from the python dot org website so we just copy this link right here and then we'll come here and we'll paste it to make sure it's working we're gonna click run a and it might give us python for beginners so yes that is it so uh, now that you know how to print a title and how to print a how to prettify the code there's one thing called find all so with find all you can find all the instances of a particular tag let's say we wanted to find all the links of this uh, page so find all a because a is anchor tag so we're gonna click a and as you can see it give us a lot of a tags but uh, they're all jumbled so what we can do right now is we can use a for loop so that will be for uh, links in soup dot find all dot find underscore all and that would be a you want to print those links so print links and then we're going to run this and as you can see it's not much more neat but uh, what if you only wanted to get this text right here the skip to content and if what if you only wanted to get the text that is the question 
pretty simple type in dot strings and you're gonna press run again and this time you'll hopefully get all the strings yes you did get but you would be wondering why you are getting none here well that is because there might be a lot there might be a few child elements and that is why you're getting none here so what we can do right now is we can convert this to text and we press run and hopefully it will give us all the yes it did give us so you can see it is giving us close and then it's giving us this so it is probably here python psf docs and then the python network inside the menu it would be like uh, this one so let us just yes socialize sign in and it is given all the links that is present on this tab on this page now that you know how to get this text element right here you would be wondering how to get the link that is the href element on this uh, anchor tag to do that it's still very easy you would say links dot get and in the parameters you want to pass in sorry for that in the parameters you want to pass in href and one more closing bracket and now we'll run this and then you will get all the guess all the links on this page and this is how much you this is how you get the links on an anchor tag now what you'll be wondering is how to get a paragraph element so to get a paragraph element what you can do is you can say p here and links dot text to get the text or just let us just try it with links so if you do with links you'll get them along with the p tag and if you to get the text you will type in uh, links dot text and when you'll run it you'll get all the text in those link on those paragraph tags present in this page on this page as you can see yes but what you might want to do instead of this is to use another thing called get text the reason being that a lot of the times people actually do not use it a paragraph tag a lot of time it's usually the span element that they use around the element sometimes they even use div but not you know this paragraph tag so when you when if something like that happens it will fetch nothing so let us just comment this out and after that we'll say soup or like let us just print it so we'll say print soup dot get underscore text and when this happens it will print the exact same thing it will print all the text on this page it is yes as you can see it has actually printed everything on this page I also it has printed some script on this page and every single thing that's in fact you can see it's everything that everything that was present on the nav bar everything that was present in the body tag every single thing has been printed so this is how you get uh, the text if uh, a pe person hasn't used a p tag so one thing you guys would be wondering what if there was a class attached to this p, uh, p tag and what if you wanted to get a particular uh, p tag with a particular class to do that it's pretty simple so let's just comment this out and let me just uncomment this and first just quickly check it because i'm pretty sure there was no class or no id with any p tag okay let me remove the text and okay so there as you can see there is no class or id associated with any of the p tag so to confirm this we'll say p class underscore equals true so why class underscore as you can see we wanted to search about a particular class and but class is a reserved keyword in uh, python so you can't use it so instead of that we use class underscore and what this means is what true here means is that you want to get any p tag which has a class irrespective of what that class is so it will print i think nothing and let me just confirm that so okay yes it did print nothing but there was a couple of anchor tags and anchor tags did have a class element to it so as you can see yes so let me just quickly get one of them okay here to the timeline let us copy this to the timeline and what if you only wanted to get uh, Twitter? Twitter, what if you wanted to get only a link that has a class called Twitter timeline associated to it? And you will print links. In fact, you should print href to get that link. Sorry, link.getHref. Link.get. And you can say href.
and it might just print any time. So as you can see, it did print this link because in so because it was the href to it. And this is how you find links or uh, yes, links or any particular p or any tag associated with a particular ID or class. Similarly, you could have done this with an ID. With an ID, you don't need an underscore because ID is not a verb keyword. I think that's it uh, for as of now. I think this tutorial has already exceeded a lot of you know time. I think it might have exceeded 10 minutes. So maybe maybe I'll make a uh, next tutorial where we'll do something with beautiful soup. But right now, because it, it was just an introduction, so so that's it.